The restaurant used to be a fast food restaurant and it caught on fire. So then it kind of gutted it. So my dad bought it for my sister way back 40, 50 years, 50 years ago, way back when. So it anyway. said you got it for a song. Yep, we got it for a real cheap. Oh, okay, That's good. I was wondering what the song was. Uh, and I worked here back then. I lived in the house across the street and worked here. And then my sister moved on and has many other restaurants in her lifetime. Now she has a snuffle bed. But then it came available. Me and my husband were sitting at that table and they wanted to close it down. So uh, my husband goes, do you want it? And I said, oh, heck no. <laughs> and he bought it. So that's how we got it. Three, mid three years ago, pretty much. Yep. So my dad since then has passed on. So. He doesn't get to live our legacy of all of our endeavors. Uh, okay. So, and you were mentioning about the hours, and yeah, you have different hours, but... Uh, we also have other jobs. I suppose. Yes. Oh. So we're busy. What is your other job? I work at the Snapple Bit for my sister a couple days a week. And then I have a farm out of town, and I raise sheep, so oh. I stay busy with that. Oh, and sure. I do my husband's bookkeeping. For his business. And what does he do? Construction. Oh, very good. Nice. Yeah. Everything. Well, this is a wonderful place. I, I really enjoyed it. The food. <laughs> you put a lot of love in your meals. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's usually too much food. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it was it more than I could nice. eat. But I wish I could have eaten it all. Yeah. So you were right on the uh, a bike route that was created by Sam Pereira called the Part of the Trans America Trail, really, or the uh, spur out to the Pacific Coast, and it runs right by two sides of your building. So behind you, the street behind you, and the street behind me, uh, it's right on the trail. So I think this would be a great stopping point for people that are coming along on the trail. So what are your hours? We're eight o'clock till two thirty. Eight to two thirty. And our days are Tuesday through Friday. Okay, so during the week. During the week. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, perfect. Well, we appreciate your time. Wonderful. And your name was? I'm Jackie. Hi, Jackie. Yeah. Okay. And I'm Jack and Scott. Well, thank you guys for stopping. Absolutely. Thank, thank you. you for the food. No, we were <laughs> it was really good food. Oh, good. So, thank I you. appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. I was born in St. Paul, Minnesota. Were you really? Yeah. But my folks, I don't know how come I was born there, but we lived in this town. I'm my wrong. wife and I lived out of. By University Avenue between Minneapolis and St. Paul, after we were first married. Oh, I didn't like the city. I was grew up on a farm. So yeah, I didn't like the city. So, uh, what brought you from Wisconsin to here? I just got out of the service. Didn't have anything else to do. Oh, and my wife's folks were yeah. moving out here. Uh huh. So we came along. Oh, okay. That was it. 1948. Okay. So you were World War Two. Well, thank you. Appreciate your service. Actually, I wasn't in the war at all. The war was over when I went in. Sure. Yeah. They were still drafting. Okay. I enlisted when I was 18. Oh. So you went in with a... Just an army. Yeah. Army. You have lived through eras that many of the kids nowadays only read about the books. I know. I know. Appreciate everything yeah. you did. So when you moved out here, did you move to this area or somewhere else? Over the valley. Where? Port, Portland area. Portland. Oregon okay. City, actually. Oh, okay. And then who's, how did you come to meet this young lady? <laughs> I, I needed somebody to clean my house to start with. Uh-huh. And, uh, and she, run errands. She volunteered. Did she? And now we're friends, we're like family. Now we're friends. She's no longer. She cleans my house. But we get together every she Wednesday. Does everything for me. Thank you, you have to increase the rate. And I can't. Well, I can't drive anymore. Okay. My eyes are better. Sure. And uh, it, it's kind of like having family close by now. Yeah. Yeah. I have a daughter that lives here too. Okay. And what's this young lady's name? Jeanette. Jeanette Jules Rude. Uh, can you never pronounce that? Okay. Yeah. Jules Rude. Yeah. Jules Rude. Okay. And what was your name? Lindsay. Robert, Robert Lindsay. Robert Lindsay. Go by Bob. Okay. And it sounds like this young lady moved out here too. So she has. Yeah. 
And how so, was that? So I had a sister that was living out here. She was the pastor's wife at First Baptist Church in John Day. And um, I came out to visit and I fell in love with the place. I went back to Florida and let's see, probably within a year, I just sold everything, packed up and moved out here. From Winter Park? Winter Park, Florida. Okay. Well, it's interesting. So, you uh, enjoy the area. What's your favorite? What is? What draws you to this area? I just love the small town feel. I yeah. that's I can't even travel like drive in Florida. It's so busy and crazy. So, yeah, and I like that. Like everybody is your family or friends. You know, you just well, I mean, just me talking to you guys. We just. Yeah. That's how it is around here, I think. Well, that's why we're doing this trip is, you know, get to see the backside. People travel interstates, yeah. but they don't see what goes on behind yeah. the sign. And exactly. this is, gives you that opportunity. It's a great thing. Yeah. So our whole uh, trip has been blessed just pretty much by you guys, meeting people such as yourself. How long have you guys been doing this? Like, how long has it taken you to go from West Virginia? This is day 31. 31 days? Wow. We've been living off the back of our motorcycles, oh. sleeping in tents and just booking down dirt roads, 80% dirt. Yeah. So we, that's, yeah. That's some good. some of the trails are goat trails, rocks, just climbing up the mountainside, but. Congratulations, good for you guys, sounds yeah. fun. Yeah, we're all due back to work, but it's been just going back with a different sense. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Well, I'm, I'm happy for you guys, kind of jealous. I wouldn't ride a bike, but I ride on the back of my husband's Harley. It's about the yeah, most I can shoot Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And we came from street bikes and had big baggers as well. And um, But it's just kind of neat to return to the dirt again. Yeah. yeah. We started in dirt, went to the street, and back to the dirt. Yeah. Very, well, nice. Yeah. Well, it's nice meeting both of you. Yeah. yeah Thank you very much. Thank you for taking some time with us. Sure. Yeah. And enjoy your breakfast. Yeah. Pray safe travels for you guys. Your names? Jack. Jack. And Scott. 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 We have a website. It, okay. uh, we have a YouTube channel and a website. Oh. And uh, we'll get you hooked up to that. You and will you be can, on day 31. So oh, you lovely. can go on there and you can actually see, you'll be able to see our whole trip across the United States. I'm glad you caught me before I ate my Billy Willy Wampus. Uh, <laughs> that's quite a name. I saw it on the menu. So it looks it's good. Delicious. Uh -huh. They said it was too big to do as an omelet. Yeah. Can yeah. have it as a scramble. If yeah. you're still here, you'll see how huge it is. Yeah. It sounds great. All right. Well, thank you much. Yeah, thank you, guys. Have you ever watched YouTube? Uh, yes. You used to. How long how much is this? Used to. Uh, now we just watch YouTube Kids. Around. You now you just what? Now we just watch Our YouTube Kids. Oh. I bet we'll be able to watch like to it. Off, yeah. It's super cool. Oh, right. If you go to that site in a few days or in a week or so, ah. you'll be surprised ah. what you might see. Dude, I want the kids. Check it out, guys. Can we get your picture together? Get up here, boys. Come here. Jasper, come here. Yeah, where do you want it? Here? No, I want it right next to the motorcycle. Right here, come right here. Yeah, right in here. You can be up, watch out, it's hot. There we go. Yeah, get in here, act come like on, you like each, like, other. like each other. You want in on this? Oh, I'm just gonna take the picture too. <laughs> Thank you. What a nice looking group. <laughs> what a good group. Hey, I get on the third bike from it for a minute. How, have you done jumps with this? Yeah. yeah. Not big jumps. This is so cool. Yeah. I wish I had a dirt bike. I've never actually seen someone that's doing... I've never seen someone actually doing shows. Really? Yeah, I've never actually met someone like that. Doing it. No, 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 no. No messing with this stuff. Oh, what's this? That's my, uh, that's my friend. So you gotta leave him on there. That's for my wife. He keeps me. Uh, he keeps me safe. Why? Cause it's a challenge. I have to have him on there when I come home. Definitely, it's hard to leave. For sure. Is that thing recording? My name's Colin. No, 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 no. I'm Kyle. So we had a house that we were renting for um, the same 
owners yeah, for Rhonda, about for my wife. seven, eight years. He keeps me, uh, he keeps and they were safe. just getting really old and they put our house up for yes. sale. And with COVID and the housing market and everything, we didn't find Why? anything on time um, for our time limit that we had to move out. And we kind of got forced nope. into financing a camp a trailer and moving into a, a good luck charm? Um, trailer park that was not the best. Um, but we were there for a year and then I had applied for this job because they were saying that they needed somebody and I waited about three months and we got in and um, we stayed here and we just took care of the park and um, I have a job in town at a diner and he works in town as well so we just save up our money and our kids get to go to school from here and um, their bus stop is right across the street over there actually it's really nice. Uh, oh, we get to yeah. stay throughout the winter time. We close the gates end of October when the reservations start getting slower. And then we just hold the park down and reopen in April. We both work this and we both work full-time jobs in yeah. town. Very nice. That's that's a great. Now, where were you before you came here? The other spot you were at, how far from here? It's about 13 seconds up the road oh, okay. on the right. Yep. <laughs> or on the left side, I'm sorry. Okay, so you were in the area then. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I've been, I was born and raised in Prineville, so. It's a beautiful area. We've really enjoyed coming through the trails around here. Yeah, yeah, it is very beautiful out here. Uh, I'm from Bend. Uh, I've been out here for, what, probably about 11 years now? Yeah, about 11 years. Moved out here just about after I graduated high school and never left. Love the place. I had family that lived here, and I'm... Now the last one that lives here in town, besides our family. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it's beautiful. I can see why it would get under your skin. <laughs> Stay a while. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's hard to leave, for sure. <laughs> Central Oregon. Yep. It's beautiful here. All right, well, th I appreciate your story. Yeah. No, no problem. Nice meeting you both. You, you too. too. Yeah. yeah.